kicking off the new year, I'm trying a few new things in order to make my channel a little more viewer friendly. I'm trying something new, summarizing my stream into a single, easier to watch recap video. This is the first of those recap videos from the live stream on January 8th. I've done a lot of exploitation on this channel, taking bugs in a piece of software and turning them into a security relevant construct. And we've done a bunch of bug finding, finding those bugs in the first place. But for the most part, we haven't done the first step in this whole process. The initial step to finding bugs is enumerating the ways we, as an attacker, can influence the program in some way. While there's a number of different parts to this, we'll want to start by doing an attack surface analysis. Modern programs have a massive amount of code in them that cannot ever be exercised or influenced by malicious actors. For example, it doesn't matter how buggy a program loader is, it will virtually never be the culprit for an exploitable vulnerability. Because of this, the first step to bug finding requires going through and finding all of the ways the program can be influenced, the attack surface of the program. For the stream, we did exactly that for the garage door opener that came with the house. It's a smart garage door opener that has at least two different communication protocols, including Wi-Fi, and can be controlled from a smartphone to monitor and open or close the door. To start off with, prior to this stream, I'd done almost zero research into the device. I knew it had a Wi-Fi sticker on the side and had looked up the website to make sure we had something to look through on stream. We started off by going through that webpage. I've got a LiftMaster 8355, a smart garage door opener. To start with, we went through one of the several sales sheets for the device to get a good idea of what exactly the vendor thinks are important features. You'll see here the start of my notes. The primary goal of this stream was to create a set of notes documenting what I should be looking at once we start actually trying to find bugs in the device. At this point, we're just listing out all the features in the device, but you'll see this grow as we keep going. After going through a couple different sales sheets, we dove into the installation manual for the device. The assumption was that the installation manual will tell us about as many of the configurable options as possible, and as it turns out, that assumption was correct. The biggest part of our notes came from looking at how the installation works, since that included configuring a lot of the features. Surprisingly, the user's manual didn't add much more in the way of details. We had a few more details about how the features were intended to be used, but very little about what features are actually on the device. One interesting source of potential bugs was going through the reviews for the device. While it's uncommon for a vendor to release lists of bugs they have had reported to them, users are more than happy to list all of the issues they found. One in particular that ended up in my notes is that adding a phone frequently or always drops the first phone. It's a good place to start looking once we get the firmware for the device and dig into it. And then after the reviews, we did a quick glance at some third-party reviews, but we didn't really turn up much in the way that was useful. And then with all of that out of the way, the next thing we had was to crack open the only software we had currently found, the APK for the Android controller app. Like everything else, we started by looking at the vendor's description on the Play Store to get a good idea of what they think it does. Now, while there are lots of options for APK reversing, the one that I'm most familiar with is JADX. It's a Java-based program which you can pass an APK to and then get back some fairly reasonable Java source code for it. One of the downsides is that it can take quite a bit of time to run. We got a good chance to chat a bit, and then after a false start from downloading the wrong APK, that's what we get from downloading from a sketchy APK mirror site, we eventually had some source code to work with. We then started by looking at the Android manifest. This is where all the activities are going to be described for the app, as well as a bunch of potentially useful information about it. From there, we spent about half an hour diving through the app to see if there were any other significant functionality we hadn't caught earlier. But other than a bunch of API endpoints and keys for those, we didn't find anything particularly interesting. From our first very quick analysis, it looks like the app either talks to the setup page from the installation manual, or it talks to vendor run API endpoints and not much else. And this was the point where we decided to wrap things up. It took about an hour and a half of work to figure out what it was the vendor thinks users should be doing with their garage door opener. I also ended up with a long to-do list. In order to make sure we have things to work with for the next stream, I need to set up my garage door opener and get it configured, hopefully capturing everything as I'm doing that, and then preferably get it configured so that I can connect to it from the box that I stream from. So I hope you all enjoyed the stream, even though it definitely wasn't the most technical one that I've always done. I find that it's too easy to jump right into the technical details before ever looking at what technical bits we should even be looking at in the first place. 
On more than one occasion, I've personally dove into reversing an application only to realize after sinking many hours into it that I was looking at the wrong thing altogether. This attack surface analysis, while largely non-technical, helps us prevent all of that. We now have notes about what to look at in the future, as well as a good path forward on where we should be looking. This gives us a great foundation to start from, rather than just looking at everything as it crops up.